since we are at it, we will also look at the basic accounting terms. Transactions are those activities of a business which involve transfer of money, goods or services between two persons or two accounts. Transactions can be 1. Cash transaction where cash receipt or payment is involved in the transaction. 2. Credit transaction is 1 where cash is not involved immediately but will be paid or received later. Proprietor is a person who owns a business. He contributes capital to the business with the intention of earning profit. Capital is the amount invested by the proprietor in the business. This amount is increased by the amount of profits earned and the amount of additional capital introduced. It is decreased by the amount of losses incurred and the amounts withdrawn. For example, if someone starts a business with rupees 5 lakhs, his capital would be rupees 5 lakhs. Assets are the properties that belong to the business. Cash in hand, plant and machinery, furniture, bank balance, debtors, bills receivable, stock of goods, investments, goodwill are all some examples for assets. Assets can be classified into tangible and intangible assets. Tangible assets are those having a physical existence. It can be seen and touched. For example, plant and machinery, cash, etc. are tangible assets. Intangible assets are those assets having no physical existence, but their possession gives rise to some rights and benefits to the owner. It cannot be seen and touched. Goodwill, patents, trademarks are some of the examples of intangible assets. Liabilities refer to the financial obligations of a business. These denote the amounts which a business owes to others. Example, loans borrowed from banks, creditors for goods supplied, bills payable, outstanding expenses, bank overdrafts are all examples of liabilities. Drawings is the amount of cash or value of goods withdrawn from the business by the proprietor for his personal use. This is deducted from the capital. Debtor is a person who receives a benefit without immediately giving money or money's worth but is liable to pay in future. For example, if my friend buys a calculator from my shop without immediately giving cash, then he is a debtor till he pays for the calculator. The debtors are shown as an asset in the balance sheet because they owe money to the business. Creditor is a person who gives a benefit without immediately receiving money or money's worth. For example, if I buy a box of printer cartridges from my supplier and don't immediately give money, then my supplier is a creditor. The creditors are shown as a liability in the balance sheet because the business owes money to the creditors. Purchases refer to the amount of goods bought by a business for resale or for use in production. Goods purchased for cash are called cash purchases. If it is purchased on credit, 
it is called as credit purchases. Total purchases include both cash and credit purchases. Purchase return or return outward are goods that are returned to the suppliers due to the defective quality or because they are not as per terms of purchase. To find net purchases, purchases returned is deducted from the total purchases. Sales refer to the amount of goods sold that are already bought or manufactured by the business. When goods are sold for cash, they are cash sales. But if the goods are sold and the payment is not received at the time of sale, it is called credit sales. Total sales includes both cash and credit sales. Sales return or returns inward are goods that are returned by the customers due to defective quality or because they are not as per terms of sale. To find out the net sales, sales return is deducted from total sales. Stock includes goods unsold on a particular date. Stock may be opening and closing stock. The term opening stock means goods unsold in the beginning of the accounting period, whereas the term closing stock includes goods unsold at the end of the accounting period. For example, if 4000 units purchased at rupees 20 per unit remain unsold. The closing stock is rupees 4000 into 20, which is rupees 80,000. This will be the opening stock of the subsequent year. Revenue means the amount receivable or realized from sale of goods and earnings from interest, dividend, commission, etc. Expense is the amount spent in order to produce and sell the goods and services. For example, purchase of raw materials, payment of salaries, wages, etc. are expenses. Income is the difference between revenue and expense. Voucher is a written document in support of a transaction. It is a proof that a particular transaction has taken place for the value stated in the voucher. It may be in the form of cash receipt, invoice, cash memo, bank pay in slip, etc. Voucher is necessary to audit the accounts. Invoice is a business document which is prepared when one sells goods to another. The statement is prepared by the seller of goods. It contains the information relating to the name and address of the seller and the buyer, the date of sale and the clear description of goods with quantity and price. Receipt is an acknowledgement for cash received. It is issued to the party paying cash. Receipts form the basis for entries in cash book. Account is a summary of relevant business transactions at one place relating to a person, asset, expense or revenue named in the heading. An account is a brief history of financial transactions of a particular person or item. An account has two sides called debit side and credit side.